Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. As uh, you can see from the two cameras, it displayed Merlin Algae with really popular assets in the 40s and 50s and had a lot of cameras artwork made of them. But there were other noticeable assets during that time period, like Lena Horn. Eartha Kit. Marpessa Dawn. And Dorothy Dandridge, who I will be using as today's image of choice for the canvas. So the supply you will need for this project is Maj Paz, the matte kind, not the glossy kind, and a Zactonite scissor, which I didn't use, and a sponge to spread the Mod Paz on the canvas, as well as a 40 by 20 inch canvas, black acrylic paint, and a 40 by 20 image of choice. Now this stuff is optional, but I decided to paint the um, canvas black with an outline because I felt like the image would pop more on the canvas. Now I decided to draw an outline because I did not want to paint over the whole canvas. I felt like leaving a blank spot would allow the image to stick more to the canvas better. This is how the canvas looks like when it is fully painted and with the outline shown. And I did about two more coats of the black acrylic paint because the um, white canvas was still seeping through. But this is how it looks like when it's pretty much done. Now on to cutting out the image, I decided to use the X-Acto knife for this whole process instead of using scissors because I felt like the X-Acto knife would give me a nice clean cut for the canvas. And this is how the image took light when it was fully cut out. And here I'm just showing you side by side how the image sort of matches the outline. And here I'm just making sure the image covers over the blank spot. And now you're going to go ahead and um, spread your mod, mod pod over the area where the picture is going to stick. And don't worry if you get it over the outline, if you have an outline or not. Towards the, the last stop, you will be painting the whole canvas over. So just do just that until you cover the whole area. And once done, now you're gonna place your image on the canvas and continue to play around with it until you have your placement the way you like it on the canvas and make sure the image is not hanging off the edge or top or bottom of the canvas. So I can see you will just continue to make sure the whole image as well as the edge of the image is fully secure with the mod piles on the canvas. And I can see I missed the spot near the shoulder, so I just lift it up, put my glue on it, and then I secured it like that. And now I'm just going in with a sponge handle to make sure the image is fully glued onto the canvas so it doesn't lift up. Once the image is placed on the canvas the way light, I'm going to flip it over and apply more pressure to make sure the image is thoroughly stick to the canvas. And now for the last step, you're going to paint over the image with the Mod Podge and make sure the canvas is fully covered in this. This will um, make sure that the image is fully secured onto the canvas as well as make it blend in with the canvas as well and when doing it make sure you don't put too much because when it dry you don't want it to leave any street marks so a little goes a long way and this is how the camera looks when it's fully covered with the Mod Podge and I did let this dry overnight 
and this is how the canvas looks like when it's fully dried 